got Luffy and Bishop, king of the rappers. Brought the music with three piece TCG, big beard TCG, and 2D. I'm bringing you the shot I <laughs> Charlotte Pudding. Uh, you know, so look, man. Morado music, right? That's my last name, Morado. It means purple in Spanish. Yes, I'm Mexican. My dad's Mexican. My mom is white. So I'm a biracial angel and a and a protected uh, protected citizen uh, because of it. Anyhow, my favorite color is purple. My other favorite color is green. My favorite number is nine. Uh, the reason I have to tell you all these things is that I'm trying to legitimize the reason why I'm playing yellow at all <laughs> because normally i don't necessarily despise or hate or whatever everything's got its archetype but it's just not my cup of tea i'll just put it like that however i do love ramping i do i am the mayor of ramp city okay and so when i heard that you know we got a purple leader that can ramp and play out 10 cost mom early and often Baby, that was a forbidden fruit that had to be tasted. So here we are with Charlotte Pudding. Real quick, uh, before we get into the leader, I'm gonna just, you take a look at this leader, okay? 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 Don't look at that. Okay? 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 This is the Mamry deck. It's not the Big Mom deck. It's the Big Mamry deck. The big old Mamry. This is Big Mamry Pirates. Okay, those Mamrys with the with the nipple up. Those Mamrys. Come on, dog. That is just you think that's a blast. No, that's a Big Mamry. This is the Big Mamry deck, and uh, so we are sure to stay entertained, enthused, and very much into the games. Um, I am a bit of a little sleepy eyes today because, you know, I just got off work, you know, 24 hour shift and we are getting rolling blackouts at home because uh, now in Houston, if it fucking drizzles, apparently, you know, power's got to go out. So whatever the fuck, hopefully we make it through this. Anyhow, let's get into pudding. Oh, did I already tell you to fucking smash the like button and, and finger pop the subscribe, turn on the bell, go down in the comments. Let me know what I'm doing right. What am I doing wrong? What would you be doing differently? I did. I didn't. Well, I just did. Please do. Um, anyway, so Charlotte Pudding. We got a bi-colored leader. <laughs> I don't know. She's a Laker. She's purple. She's yellow. She's got four life because of it. Okay. Uh, 5,000 uh, and, and wisdom type. That's going to come into play. It's not. Uh, anyways, when attacking, you may turn the top two cards of your life face up. Add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck as rested. Remember that. Okay, so that's that's the leader we're looking to ramp we can we usually use this ability like once maybe twice yeah i think about twice yeah but anyhow let me get into my list my list is a little different i've been watching and and i understand that other people's lists like from the east and stuff like that it's going to be inherently different because they were thinking about having to play against law and i am in a lawless land it is a fucking lawless land out here and it and in every way that is a double entendre yes so first card i see myself running that i don't see anybody else really running is mr tube on clay okay mr tube on clay they are just i like i say it every damn time first it's a 1k counter four for one yeah they mimic but most importantly they add one dawn from your dawn deck is active okay you're gonna add that dawn deck is active then you get to attach that one you get to swing for six and then so you go from having four to five with this card and then six with your leader in one turn you ramp two dawn okay like what else can you ask for then they're going to spend all of their uh effort and dawn trying to get rid of this card because they're so fucking terrified that this card is going to swing at them with fucking five or six you know what i'm saying it never fucking lasts until the end but anyways that's what they're concerned about dope that's what we're playing bond clay this card is your deck's uh, actual ramper, your organic ramper, the big mom searchable ramper pirate, and it's uh, Charlotte Katakuri. That's how I feel most of the time. Six for seven, uh, 1k counter, and on play, you may flip the top card of your life face down, add up to one Dawn card from your deck, and set it as active, active, active. That's really dope. So what it looks like is our turn two, especially if we're going second, we uh we get to play this out we swing for six we go from uh four to six in one turn then the next turn we uh play this card out and then we ramp from six to seven 
and then we do our thing again. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we're, we're hooping. Okay, so we're, then we're 6-7, and then, then we go to 9. Wow, this is all playing out, because then the next turn we're on 9. And uh, minus 1, she's 9 for 9, big memories. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, minus 1, trash 1 card from your hand, add up to 1 card from the top of your deck to your life. <clears throat> Then place one of your opponent's characters at the cost of six or less to the top or bottom of their life. I don't read these cards anymore because I have fucking ADHD and just like a splash of dyslexia that makes it almost impossible. I'll know how to use them, but by the time I'm done reading them, I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, anyways, love this card. We're seeing it early. We're seeing it often. We're doing our thing. Everyone says Viola. I like to say Voila Magic. Uh, two for zero. She's just there because she's, yeah, she's got a 1k counter, but she's there because she's a blocker. And more importantly, when we play, we get to either look at all of our opponent's life and return them in any order, which is pretty fucking busted. Or, more importantly, in pretending to us, we play them out and we get to, um, we play, the, we do the second one and we turn everybody face down. So what'll happen is if we're going first, uh, we swing for six, we go two face up, we play this down, two get face down. And then we're at six and then we can play we can we can swing again and then go from uh six to seven and then that'll go from seven to eight something like that my, my, my math might be off but this keeps the party going this keeps the party going uh and it keeps us from these weird awkward mid turns where we don't know what to do also having a blocker slows the meta says so not the meta but slows the game down and against like the Calgaras and the zoros or the purple luffy's people who want to rush us down it gives them an obstacle to overcome and if nothing else just spin dawn or a swing to get around it we love it uh next okay so some people don't uh fuck with flampe i do because it's a, a 2k search a searchable 2k we, we do fuck with searchable 2Ks in these parts. And um, uh, the on playability comes into play here and there, mainly when you've seen your cards, your life cards, and there's one card, you've seen that you have this, and there's one card beneath it, and you want this to be your last card, obviously. You play this out, and you remove the bottom card, and then you get to draw a card. So you get to see two extra cards in your hand, and then you get to set this up as your last card, or this up as your last card. You get what I'm saying. Uh, this is just a searcher. It's been around since 03. I don't got to explain it. You already know what time it is. The biggest memory mom. The biggest of memories. Uh, 10 for 12. Trashing, a, gaining a life, trashing a life. Got a 12K body. That's what we're ramping to. Uh, we already know him. He's the bane of everybody's fucking existence. On trigger. He's another card you want to put at the bottom if you can. And yeah, we do that. Uh, we're running uh, four of the ace. Um, it's not searchable, but he does have rush and 10k and 10 into the majority of this cast is going to fuck him up or at least, you know, give him an obstacle to, they're going to have to come out of some cards. It's the fact that you can also ramp a life or not ramp. You can also gain a life. It's the fact that you could gain a life and then he's just a 10k and he doesn't have rush, but you, now you have a 10k. So it's just another thing. We're just continually adding life. This card is just great to see out of your counter, or excuse me, out of your life and trigger, because we rarely play it. However, there are times where we get to a place where we like to uh, be at that ramp spot that I was describing earlier, and we hit nine, right? And we're at a place where we can play this, or if we don't see this, and we have these two in our, our hand, we can play this out. Uh, if we're at eight dawn, we can play this out. We'll ramp one, and we'll have three remaining dawn, and then we get to play this card with our three remaining dawn. And that's a pretty good 9k swing or 9k uh, 9 dawn turn because you're getting a perfect swing on them and then you're getting a blocker on them. That's going to help us, you know, kind of slow down and also develop. Uh, going into Newgate, the biggest of memories, bro. I think I think it's between him and Zoro. Hang on. We got to see Zoro. Who's got the memories? The memories. So this is pre-op. That's pre-op, pre-op, pre-op. Pre-op, pre-op, post-op, post-op memory Zoro Joro. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. No, 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 Edward uh, Newgate's got him big time. He's a legend. He's he's a he's got them emperor memories. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's got them Yonkos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got them Yonkos. Anyways, um, I digress. I digest. Uh, yeah. So this is the another card. Six for seven. 
1k counter we love to see it i would love to play this card in our in our black yellow luffy i just could never legitimize it over other cards uh but on play we're adding the top card of our deck into our life then we look at all of our life cards and place one of them on the top of our deck uh return your remaining life cards in the desired order so this is how we're also going to be able to fix this there put that there put that there at the bottom see what i'm saying uh, this is just another searcher. So this is our fifth and sixth copy of a searcher that this one instead of the top four gives us top five because it's not giving us the value of a card on the field or 1k counter. And yeah, it's just another chance to look for our big moms and, and get it going. Uh, now this card is for um, Calgara, Zoro, Purple Luffy, uh, decks that like to go wide and pressure because we get to we're going to ramp up fast and when it gets to those kind of critical times and stuff either we're playing this to gain life gain life or we've already established a little bit of a board and we're going to play this out we're going to minus two dawn we're going to ko two people that cost six or less so those are big vanillas or just problem some cards i mean like look even if i got rid of these two cards those are two perfect swings coming off the board magnifique right and then we're going to swing with what we're going to use the remaining four dawn because we like to wait until later in the game. But then we use the remaining four dawn to do the rest. And even if it was eight dawn, we still got two more dawn. So we could swing seven and seven. And you know what I'm saying? And we got rid of two of their cards. That's the big deal. And then the fucking creme de la creme de la Edgar dog. You know what this the card is. Uh, you, you know it. You love to hate it. And uh, on in our hand, it's uh, fucking what every card. Everybody has one. You know, you you trash a card and you get plus 3k but if it's in trigger if you have zero life cards you put the top card of your deck into your life pile then trash one card from your hand i mean this is what saves you so this is the gist of the list for the starting you know this is we're gonna call this uh big memories this is the big memories and big memories <coughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and take this into the meta and see what we can do all right so I will see you guys in the next one or on the other side. Yeah. Listen, I play this game on my phone while I'm taking a shit too. But like, you know, you don't start a fucking game mid wipe. That's just bad manners. Two, one. All right. So another attempt at Luchi, different Luchi. Um, I got a search. I like that other hand so much better. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. Yeah, we still got a search. The last one I had, I had the actual uh, Bond Clay on curve, which would have been perfect. So we'll go ahead and play this. And I do get to pull a big mom. So that's not a wasted search. I'll go ahead and play like that. And then we'll do that. And then I will pass it back. Yeah, I was just waiting on the other guy forever. And we're waiting again. There we go. Draw some cards. Draw some Dawn. See what he gets rid of. Big bucks. Eh. Swing in seven. I'm inclined to take the first hit. There we go. <laughs> All right. Watch this. Okay. So I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing. I'm going to develop here. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to swing six into five. We'll be using that card's action. We got two big moms. We're going to take both of them lives, daddy. Let me tell you. Perfect. Perfect. So now they got to give me a 2K or take a life. They know what is coming. They know what is coming. And look, we're at six. We're going to eight. I can uh, take this card. I can take that out and put that there. However I want to do it. You know what I mean? I can fuck around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this and just counter out. I don't really need a ramp again. Oh, is that a three or less? Yeah, that sucks. Well, they got rid of that. They did have to get rid of a card, but they do want that card there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play out of Newgate since I don't need to ramp anymore. So I'm going to play out Newgate and perfect. Effing perfect. Okay, so we want to put this card to the back or to the top of our life. We want to take the next life. That be our next life. This is going to be whatever. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're done sorting. And now I am going to swing seven into their leader. I imagine they take this because they don't want to give up two cards. Yeah. All right. So now let's see what's up. Uh, next turn, I draw this big mom so I can play it. And then if I get hit, I got another one to play. I can also be using these 
So we'll see what's up. We'll see how we get down. I also got counter. Got some good. Got a, got a good amount of counter. This card almost does nothing in this matchup because the majority of their threats are um, going to be Sabo down. You know what I'm saying? That's just a fact of life. The cool thing is, is we'll be at 10, they'll be at 9, and then we'll be at 10 again. And you, you see what I'm saying? So they're in a place where they ought to know that I just added that life to my hand. Uh, believe it or not, I will go ahead and do this. Because I don't need this in my hand yet. I'm going to get an extra one. If they swing again, I'll go ahead and take... Oh, yeah, we'd love to see that. Yeah, we'd love to see that. Okay. Adding Sabo. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we got two big moms. And this is like literally no thought process required. So we're going to go ahead and gain a life. Trash a life. And then we're going to do that again. So now I'm going to go ahead and swing. And I'm going to swing five here first. And I don't need to do any of that. So... Swing five there, see what they want to do with that. Yeah, I imagine. Oh, a 2K. We love getting 2Ks. So now I'm going to go ahead and swing seven here, and I imagine I'll get their blocker. Oh, they give us the life? Okay. I'll take it. That's Lit City. Okay, so uh, we're in a particular spot where if they develop, they could get blockers out here. We could put one of them back, and then we can swing, swing, swing. Um, so I imagine they'll put a blocker back. Okay, looks like they want to get rid of that. <laughs> we forgot they got Jack. How adorable. Uh, but what that does is leave them vulnerable to Newgate. They can't do nothing about Newgate now. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and counter out here. And for that, I am going to go ahead and counter out again. Okay. Now, a couple things that can happen here is I can uh, play this out because I know he's got a Sabo in hand. So I can play this out, pop these two, and then I can uh, Big Daddy swing. I can swing twice, or I can just do this and swing twice. So I think I'll just play the Big Mom out. I just feel like any chance you can, you play the Big Mom out. It. it, it I don't want to say it doesn't take any brain power, but I mean, the decision's kind of made for you. Like now I have a 10 K body that they have to get rid of. And look, I mean, they just got rid of one 10 K. They can very easily, uh, what's this one plus, uh, ice age is six and he gets rid of a three. So, but they already got some Tempest kicks in here. They already used three Tempest kicks, all of their Tempest kicks. So that might be game. You know what I'm saying? That might just be game. And the thing is, is that they don't get rid of everything. And they're not going to get rid of anything now. Then, you know. Okay, so everything's KO immune. Which means this card is now null and void. But we'll see what I can do. Okay, we're getting rid of that card. Okay. So now I can just swing. If he doesn't put another blocker down, I'm free to just swing big twice. I could just swing like fucking 12 and 14 or something like that. Oh, yeah, the game's over. Yeah, the game's over. I mean, I got four life to, for him to climb past anyways. So, yeah, this game's over. Yeah, he's just... Yeah, he's just... Yeah. Yeah, oh, and then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, we can't do nothing with that. Choose zero targets. Okay. Looks like the, uh, yeah, three sixes didn't work out for you this time, bud. Okay, now we're just going to swing a huge. Attach all done. There we go. There's a feature we can get behind. That's right, daddy. That's fucking right. So, I mean, there's the meta. He got to see his jack. He got to see fucking bullshit. Not against Puddin, dog. Not on Puddin's watch. And look, we just, we, do we even think? We didn't even, we didn't even think in that match.
Let's see how we do into some black yellow Luffy action. A little by Luffy, a little Bumblebee Luffy. Uh, they choose to go first. Okay, a little rush down, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that because I want all my beiges. I want all those cards in my life. I don't want them here. I got a good search. I got a good search. Uh, I'm probably going to use this one because I don't care to search the top four and lose a 1K counter. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that right there. Okay, so true to our word, we're going to play that out. We get Nassing, but a searcher. Okay, so let's do that and pass it back. Actually, what the hey? I'll look again, and that's what I'll find. Oh, I should have grabbed him. My bad. Fuck. Poop. So what we'll be doing in our next one is swinging seven just to uh, ramp. And then we're playing voila. And then, yeah. Damn, we really did need that. Son of a gun. Okay, so against this matchup, what we're trying to do is ramp as soon as humanly possible. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and take that. We're trying to ramp as soon as humanly possible and then play out our bigs because the faster we get those out, the the better our chances are for, let's see. Actually, I'm going to search again. I'm going search crazy right now because that's what I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, I'll put you like that. Yeah, the faster we get our, uh, our nine costs out, the quicker we get to just clap this guy up and, and call it a day. So we know we got another one. So if he wants to give that to us, that's dope. We're at six or we're at five. I'm going to play this out. Flip everybody upside down. And I will take that one just to have the biggest mom in my hand. And then after that, I mean, we just need to get to that end. And we're just going to start dropping big moms. And then we're going to get rid of all of them. And then the cards, if he does awaken, they're going to go, you know, <laughs> you know where they're going. Where the sun don't shine. Okay, so I'm assuming... Oh, that's going to be Rocket Luffy. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess he can get rid of that one. And then swing seven, we'll take it. And then we're going to go to seven. And then we are going to... Uh, I'll go ahead and play him out first. And then uh, get that together. Yeah, I'm definitely going to let himself awaken at this point. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. We got all the big moms, dude. All the big moms. Okay, uh, he does have Luffy in rotation. I'm going to go ahead and play this card out for six. Um, if I swing, if I swing, we can go up. Yeah, I can get a free swing. So I'll go ahead and do that. Use card action. Okay, so we know that we like this one right here. That's fine. And I'm at eight now. So now I'm going to go ahead and I think I will play this card out just to have it. Because if he goes to... Nah, it's just going to get popped. So I'll go ahead and play them out. And then I will put... This doesn't have a trigger. So I'll go ahead and put this in the top of my hand. I'm done sorting life. I'm done talking about it. Back to you. So he knows that this is going to be a blocker. This is going to be a little obstacle. Not very much of an obstacle for Luffy. He's just got to have that. So if we get himself awakening on this turn, then that's gravy for us. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna play Big Mom. We're gonna play Big Mom. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that is how that's gonna go. And that's why it was actually cool that he used this whole little thing because it helped us. It enabled us to swing for free without awakening him. Okay, so he's got power up, Luffy. You better power up that Luffy. Okay, are we going to go for Awakening? That's crazy. I wouldn't do it. Because if he goes to 7... Uh, yeah, if he goes to... Yeah, if he goes to 7, that's, that's, that's cray cray. Perhaps this is one of the Luffy's that kind of doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, but they've seen everyone else have such a great time. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to, yeah, I think I'm going to do this and then this. Because I don't see there being a reason that I need to go down so fast. 
So I'm done with this card, and then I'm going to go to 10, and that's going to be that. And now I'm going to play the biggest mom out. Zero brain power. Biggest mom. Gain a life. Trash opponent's life. And we're going to swing seven. And now he's going to have to give me a card. Okay. And then we do that. Okay, so now I guess he's anticipating that. He does know that I had... I think he knows I've drawn, I've drawn one either from life or from one of these searches. So now um, he's in a place where he's at nine. So he can't do the gecko yet. And they have to be able to put two of these and then also get two littles. Their only two bigs are Luffy's. And they've already used two little Luffy's. They've already used two searchers. Um, they get the draw one off of there. This is... This game is over. <laughs> I'm going to play another big mom. And then that's going to be that. Because I'm going to swing 7 and 12. Yes. Okay. 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 And, and just like that... You might be dead. No, no, no. Because if he, he cleans this one up, he, he survives another turn. But what we're looking at is the fact that he's got four cards in his hand. He will get five and six if he survives this. But Luffy's not going to go back to his hand. So that's not going to happen. Uh, this card's going. Yeah. Can't, can't save it. If I could, that would probably be the round. Or be the game. Okay. Get a little bit of seven. I'll take that. I'll draw another card. And that's it. Pass it back. Okay, so now we got... I'm going to just... Well... No, let's just do it automatic, right? Yeah, let's just do it automatic. Yeah, because we want to gain another life. And then trash that life. Exactly. Uh, we want to do that. That's how we want to get down. And then he's going to give us that blocker. And uh, then this is pretty much the end of the game because he can't get rid of three cards, uh, three life and swing. And there's just not there's just not a way for him to do that, especially he's got three swings. He hasn't done anything with an ace or showed that he has an ace in his hand. And uh, if he's any of these, uh, the new Luffy's, the new black, yellow Luffy's, he's not running ace. He's probably just copying the French list and going off of that so i think this game is pretty much shut down now if he has a gecko though he can put that he can run the gecko gecko would actually prolong this a, a bit a bit but if he goes to seven yeah he, okay for that i'll give you this So another Luffy deck that I feel like putting really fucking fucks is um is the um is the red purple Luffy. Oof, that is a rough one, man. Okay, so we're getting word of one of them. I wonder, okay, you're gonna swing and then disappear? I mean this game's over, dude. What are you doing? What are we doing? What? Oh, because you did that. Okay. I mean, yeah, that was a cool trick. Game's over. Yeah. He's running the Kuzan. Yeah. Yeah, I'll even take it for you. Yo, my guy. The fuck? I'm going to swing 12 and then fucking, yeah, that's it. Two, four, six. You got another one? Okay, cool. How about this? How about this then? How about that? That's where we were, that's what we were taking it. That's what we were thinking. Yeah, we were we were thinking all kinds of stuff. We could do all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? I could have swung fifteen. You know what I'm saying? Takes you forever to think about that shit. Come on, dog. All right. Why am I doing it to myself? Because I don't want to feel myself too much. That's called it's called playing yourself, playing with yourself. Uh, they're going first. I'm going second. I want to see my little ramp. That's all right. So that's a little bit of a ramp. Uh, can't search. Can't do nothing. Pass it back. This isn't a good hand for me. I haven't got a bad hand like this yet. You guys have seen those games. I ain't done nothing wrong yet. Okay, we're swinging five. Thinking about taking. 
Okay, I don't get nothing I want. I would have rather that been... Hey, there we are. I would have rather that been in my life and then rearranged the life. Okay, so... How are we going to do this? We do this. Then we swing this. And then we ramp. Cool. And then they take and we go. All right. So the next turn. So we're at six. We're going to go to eight. This guy's going to bring us to nine, which is really unnecessary. And uh, it will be active also. That will be active. Huh. I like the map. I think we could play this in this next round, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because we'll go to eight, play him. Go to nine, play them. Could happen. And that's cool because getting that blocker out there is going to slow the game down some mo. What do we What do we pull, Satori? What's this? <laughs> the upper yard. Add to your hand, place some running cards at the bottom of your deck. Got the Calgara. Six for eight. You know what's fucked up is your whole fucking thing is a six for eight. Like, that's like the big move is the six for eight. I think that's crazy. A vanilla. And this deck is running fucking wild on people. God bless. What else is we doing? Top four cards. This motherfucker's a searcher. Wiper, no wipey. All right, I'm going to give you a 2K counter. Okay, I'm going to give you this. And that's it. Let me play. Okay, so now we could play this out. And yeah, should we rearrange our life? Or should we just ramp one for no reason? And then uh, have three to play this out. We got two swings. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and ramp for no reason. Use card action. I'm gonna swing here to see if I can get rid of this card. See what you'll give me for that. That's great. Okay, so now you have that, and then I'll go ahead and swing six at your life then. This is going to be a blocker. And then this is going to be a blocker. And now we are going to be poised to have. See, that's the blocker right there. I mean, that's kind of shit, though. I don't want I don't want it like that, but whatever. It's OK. I mean, what was I going to do? Use a 3K either way? Like, you know what I mean? Huh. Okay, so he's got a five and a five. Um, no blocker step. And if we take that beige, we know that we can use it on this. And he just can't attack. And then we can play Big Mom out. And then we can gain a life. I think that's what we're going to do. And we're going to make him not able to attack. And then you can do whatever you want here. And I kind of don't care. Oh, especially if you swing naked. That's that's dope, too. Yeah. If you swing seven, I'm going to give you eight. And then I'm going to play this out. I'm going to swing five. I'm going to swing seven. You know, you have to give me cards for that. And then you have to finish me off. And you have to go through three of my life. This motherfucker. It's always this motherfucker. All right. So I'm going to give you this. No blocker. I'm going to give you this right here. And we have made it through the turn of attacks. Okay, so now I wonder. We don't want to take this many attacks. That's a lot. So we're going to go ahead and swing here. See what that does for us. Gets a card out of their hand. Gets a 2K out of their hand. That means they're running a little low on them 2 keys. We can handle one, two, three, and then four, and then they still have this many swings. So it's just a bit much, dog. It's just a bit fucking much, frankly. So we're going to go ahead and either get two cards out of their hand, which I would do. If I were them, I'd give them all my cards. 
because they're working on a damn all they have is 2ks all right cool so we're gonna go ahead and gain a life trash their life and we're gonna pass it back so we're technically a four life leader right now and we have three of these which means the chances of it one of them being at the bottom are slim to fucking none but if they don't establish a blocker or clap us up then we're gonna fucking win so i'm gonna go ahead and take the first one and then i'll eight and then you know eight and then they'll be like damn that boy eight the big swing is gonna be blocked by this anything higher than a anything higher than a five is gonna be blocked by that huh ain't that a bitch i'm gonna go ahead and take that one as well yeah that's i know we're getting nuts i know we're getting nuts but he's only got three more attacks and i don't know of them having any uh rushers so at this point he's gonna have to spend dawn to get rid of this and then he's gonna have to invest here and here because he could get me in two big swings if i didn't have this blocker <laughs> If you swing seven, I'm giving you eight. If you swing six, I'll give you eight. If you swing nine, I'm going to give you this. So let's see. Okay, seven. That's good. Give me that seven. And then swing two big times. Kagura is supposed to be like the automatic win against Pudding too, which is pretty fucking nuts. Even though they had this, if this guy wasn't in this fucking hand or on the field right now, they'd be at zero fucking life, dude. That would have been fucking amazing. So what he's thinking about right now, the reason why he's taking his time and I don't blame him is that he's either going to finish me off. Oh, oh, we're abandoning our plan, are we? Okay, so if I don't kill, if I let that go and uh, then I got to kill him in two swings and... Uh, I think I'm going to give him this because if, if I give him this, then he swings twice at me. I'm going to go ahead and do this. No blocker. I'm going to give him this. Yeah. 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 I think he's realizing that he's got to clear, clean, clear this card. Um, now I give you this. Yeah. Now I give you this. Okay. And then you gotta have something to get rid of this, or you gotta have a blocker. Yeah, that's how that works. That's how that works. You still have this card though. So you trying to lullaby me. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a block. And if you put five on him and swing seven, even though I have a card in my hand, that's cool. You can do that and risk the fact that you're going to swing seven into seven. Even And I did give him a blocker. That could be a good indicator. But if you know me and you play against me, you know I'll do some shit like that just to fuck with you. Okay, he's going to give us a life. Okay, so now we know that we are, this is do or die for us. So we're going to be seven, eight, nine. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we can do 10, 11, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so let's go ahead and, huh, we can do 11, and then just 11, and then 12. Let's fucking go. I mean, he's already been using a bunch of them, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Swing. I probably could have got away with nine here. That might come back to haunt me. But we'll see. He either has it or he doesn't. I mean, look how many 2Ks he's been using. It's not that many, but he's been using 2Ks when you wouldn't use 2Ks, is what I'm trying to say. So he's got to have two, four, six, two, four. He's got to have three 2Ks and some shit. All right. And then Big Mom. Nobody can block Big Mom ever, even if there's a fire and we fucking win it. I bet you're fucking ready for a rematch, dog. I bet. We have a gang. Uh, that is my Charlotte Pudding. That's how I would play. And that's how I like to fuck around and find out. 
Uh, you got to see us against Lucci, who's, you know, the meta, right? You got to see Black Yell Luffy, who's everybody's, you know, that's another one. And you got to see us against Kagura, which was a very interesting match. Uh, it could have went a multitude of ways, uh, and apparently most of them would have went in their favor. However, you got to see how setting up these blockers, uh, doing this weird shit where I go up one Don, so the next turn I have an extra Don to play him. Ramp unnecessarily, right? Ramp unnecessarily. This card, this play, that nine Don play I had where I played him and, and then and then Brule, that is what won me the game. That's what won me the game. Because then they spent so much, they realized halfway through it, yo, I'm not going to kill this guy, so I need to go ahead and get rid of the threats. And uh, they were not successful in getting rid of the threats because of that, because I had, you know, Brule and I had counter, etc. cetera. So uh, very, very proud of my performance in there, um, you know. And then we're just dropping fucking big bomb bombs, dog. So I think the deck is a lot of fun. Uh, I hear it gets better in uh, with the starter deck 20. And let's just take a little gander. Yeah. Waiting on a little gander. Okay, so we get, uh, you may add top card of your life to your hand. Set up to one of your three calls or less big mom pirate type characters is active. I, I, I don't know who that's pertaining to. I don't, I don't have an clue i don't have an iota they think i'm gonna swing with this i don't i don't understand rest up to one of your opponents three or less i i guess dog i don't know how that gets any better uh blocker five for six that's a pretty decent numbers one you may turn the top card of your life cards face up give your leader up to one of your characters one rest of dawn that's a katakuri thing you got to remember that the starter deck 20 is a katakuri okay so at least at least thought that the big mom was good for this deck you may trash one card from your hand. Uh, your opponent chooses to discard two cards from their hand or trash one card from the top of their of your opponent's life cards. Um, <laughs> if I was the opponent, I would say choose one card from the top of my opponent's uh, life cards and trash it. You know, language barrier or, or, or lawyer. But no, I don't get how this card works with the exception of it is played on turn six and we ramp to six faster. So they have to make that decision before they run out of life. So I guess that works. Um, whatever. So yeah, big, uh, Pudding's not getting any support, guys. It's as good as it's going to get. Uh, they got rid of Law for you. They got rid of Any's Lobby for you. So fucking have at it. <laughs> Anyways... Um, do remember to fucking smash that like button, pop that subscribe, uh, turn on the bell, and I really am curious, what am I doing right, what am I doing wrong, what would you be doing differently, let me know down in those comments. Uh, really excited about this, I, what I love is playing cards that have perfect swings into, you know, 5k leaders, and I've always wanted to play with this card, you know what I mean, I've always wanted to use it in Black Yellow Luffy, just could never find the way to do so, or, or could never legitimize it. But, you know, we're having fun with this one. Um, this card. Real quick before I let you guys go. This card. I don't know about this card. I know that this card would be great into uh, Del Flamingo. But outside of that, you know what I'm saying? Maybe against Purple Luffy. You know what I mean? They go wide with, with some cards that are six or less. But, like, maybe against Kalgara. If I would have fucking saw it, that would have been, been cool. Um... Yeah, against Kalgaro, if I could have got, yeah, that Kalgaro, if I would have seen this instead of this right here, uh, while this enabled me to get a swing in uh, and a blocker, so that took one, blocked one, this would have got rid of two of any of their ones, and I could have got rid of that six for eight, and I could have got rid of the other one that was a six cost. So I guess we, I guess we like this card. I guess we like this card. Okay, okay. Disregard, disregard. Anyhow, anyhow, um, been a lot of fun playing with you guys. Uh, looking forward to the next one. If you got an idea for the next one, do let me know. I'll look into it. Till then, it's been Marauder Music with Three Piece TCG, Big Beard TCG, and I catch y'all like a faucet, sweat dripping like a faucet. Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition, King of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.